Hello everyone, and welcome back to my survival build world. Last time we worked on this incredible road that connects our two villages together. Today I wanted to work on adding some extra life to our road, whether it's a cart or two. It, it doesn't look like much, it's just a line, but I promise you this is going to be a cart. Adding in a small camp. And then finally, our tavern as a resting point for weary travelers with a house and, and I'm thinking big wheat fields for the alcohol, but let's sleep and then go ahead and kick this into a time lapse and get this show on the road.
All right, with the sun just coming up now, let's take a look at all of the added builds. This here is a cart very similar to the one that we added in the village, just in all spruce. I wanted to have it seem like somebody just parked here for a moment as they were headed into the village with some goods or Maybe they just parked it here for a moment before traveling elsewhere. But heading into the desert now, soon we'll come across our next cart, which I took inspiration from Flip's toppled cart design, which you can see now as we pull it up. I wanted it to seem like it was kind of a wealthier cart that topped over, so they've got couple chests, barrels, some food for their journey, as well as some gold for trading because a village that has a portal open to the public is gonna allow people to go through and trade with the piglins and get the goods from there. And let's head across the bridge and up the hill and we'll be at our campsite. I love walking along this road. I might go through and add in some fence posts as kind of a, an extra barrier to the outside. Now it's just a very, very bare bones basic campsite, but just enough to add a little bit of something to the area. I went with a yellow tent because it stood out but still seemed like it would be something that people would have in a desert. Couple of oak logs for benches since there's a forest right there and a little campsite and a place to tie up a horse. Then continuing down our road, we are almost to the tavern area. Coming up over the hill, and here we are. We have a merchant here that has taken a liking and stopped in at our tavern. Our bees have been busy creating honey. I need to get more of them bred up so that we can fill all of our beehives over there. So it looks like they are all inside their hives except for- oh, there's one of the babies. Then one of the adults. A couple of our bees have wandered off. I've seen them poke up over the trees. I might need to go track them down here at some point. But aside from the bees and the wheat field, we have just a basic stables and a little bit of an angular house. I am not very confident when it comes to building diagonal houses but i still think that this came out really well huh? a couple more carts as if they parked them here and then went and stored their horses huh? and then the tavern itself i've already come up with the name for it this is the nox tavern inspired by my dnd group actually come inside and this is where the floor will be once i figure out how to do interiors this is the kitchen and then a campfire right here I'm thinking a piano right here and a couple of tables coming up here, a balcony, and then a wall is going to go across here, and this is where the rooms will be. And then I'm not sure if I'm going to have a second layer of rooms or if these will just be really tall rooms or maybe an attic and some regular sized rooms but that is going to do it for me today kind of a shorter episode but i hope you all enjoyed like if you did and subscribe if you want to see more thank you for watching